Welcome to Design Fusion YouTube video channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can define SimWeld in SimCenter 3D for simulation purpose. Here you can see I have a three plate and they are connected together using a key weld joint and left weld joint. And in SimCenter 3D, there is a various way of defining SimWeld. You can use a manual method where you can use a 3D solid geometry and mesh it with a 3D hex mesh and connect a geometry using a glue coincide connection. Or you can use a mid surface and mesh it with a C quad element and stitch together all the geometry. SimCenter 3D also offers you most advanced and fast way of creating a SimWell and it is a universal SimWell connection where once it defined you can use whatever the well element you want you can use it in first case it is rbe2 and in second case we use a c quad plus rbe3 type of element so let's move to the sim center 3d environment and review all that matter first look at where we use a 3d geometry so here i have uh, my well geometry and connect all that uh, well geometry with plate using a glue coincide mesh mating condition once it is done you can right away go ahead and create a 3d solid mesh in this case i have used a hex mesh and to create a momentum i have created here rbe3 type of spider element so i can apply momentum on that top face i switch to my simulation environment right away where i have apply a fixed constraint to this face and apply the momentum about one kilo newton into meter about z direction and it is a counterclockwise and i have applied five kilo newton force in negative z direction once it is done let's review our second manual matter where we use a mid surface for our plates and i extract a seat body for my wheel joint so once it is done you can stitch the geometry together using a stitch edge command and you can mesh it with 2d quad element so let's review the thickness so here a uh, 20 millimeter thickness have most of the mid surfaces and left edge joint has about 14.14 once it is done let's review the simulation model where i have applied the same load and boundary condition as 3d model and then let's review our third matter and uh, here you will get to know the power of sim center 3d where i have used a mid surface and mesh it with a quad element once it is done here uh, in universal connection it provides you the most advanced command and it is a same well connection which launch a wizard which allow you to select technology type and the base flange and the flange which you would like to connect together and then after you can select a nodes or curve where you would like to create those uh, same well definition so I have selected nodes available in group and then I will select the line offset because I need to connect uh, those node to the base plate nodes away from 20 millimeter and select tolerance and weld property as I require so here you can see that I have real-time preview of created weld joint same way we are going to create seam wheel definition second left well joint where I will select the base plate and flange once it is done uh, I will just make sure that select a uh, correct vector and then select the nodes where I would like to create a seam wheel joint and will keep all the tolerance and well property as before and here you can see that my second left wheel joint is also created as further we go we are going to create 
uh, key wheel joint where I will select the base plate, my flange one and select the nodes where I would like to create my seam weld and make sure that I select the correct vector to create a weld joint in positive x direction and make sure I will select a correct weld property and tolerance. Once it is done, let's hit OK and here you can see that I have created my weld joint definition for T weld as well and will copy the same uh, T-wheel joint to create a second uh, T-wheel joint where I will keep all the selection as it is and just make sure that I select a minus X vector and then after you need to realize uh, elements which you would like to create so I have selected RBE2 type of element and here you can see that it created for me. I also need to connect these uh, two nodes uh, vertically aligned node. So I will just clone already created left wheel joint and just change the distance assigned in line offset. I will make it zero and here you can see that it also create or connecting that to vertical aligned uh, node as well. Once it is done, I will just realize that I need RBE2 type of element and it is created for me. So here you can see that in SimCenter 3D, it is very easy and faster way of defining a universal SimWell connection and all that definition associated to your CAD geometry. So if there is, if there is any change in the geometry, it will automatically update. Let's review our thickness property so I can make sure that my FEM model is ready yes I need a 20 millimeter of thickness and we are good to go to create a FEM model for our fourth method where I will use already created universal connection where I will just realize that I need a C quad plus RBE3 type of spider element instead of RBE2 type of element and here you can see that you have the graphical preview of uh, created quad element and RBE3 type of element to define our seam wheel definition. For better visualization, you can right away change your uh, color for wheel mesh. Once it is done, I need to make sure that the thickness property assigned to this uh, mid surface and seat body is correct. So here you can see that I'm getting 20 millimeter but I need a different thickness for my lab joint. So what I will do, I will create a new mass collector and where in P cell 3 I will define my thickness property equal to T by root 2. So 20 by 1.414 millimeter once it is done I will select the left wheel mass element where I would like to apply that particular thickness property so once I have selected it I will right away go to, to the node and element uh, command group and where you can just select uh, associated data where you can assign a physical property to P cell tree and let's review our thickness and here you can see that I have created a thickness as per I requirement and I am good to go to apply load and boundary condition. I have already solved all the matter and load the displacement result and put all the matter side by side so we can compare and review it. Here you can see that we are getting almost same result for each and every method. So universal sim we are uh, doing a well job because we are getting a same result as our manual method. And uh, right now I also need to check my stress result. So how easily I load it. You can see it on my graphic window. Moreover, I need to average a stress result at the node and using a 
shortcut command available on ribbon bar you can do it very easily and quickly once my post processing is uh, set i can review my result here you can see that we are getting almost same stress profile for each matter this conclude universal simwell connection doing a well job because we are getting a same result as our manual method if you are interested to check the stress behavior on the plates only you can use universal simwell connection with rbe2 type of element if you also need to check the stress behavior on the weld area you can use a universal simwell connection with c quad plus rbe2 type of element so you can analyze a stress uh, in detail this way sim center 3d allow you to create the simwell definition very easily and faster manner for more video please like and subscribe our youtube video channel thank you so much